What are we looking at here? So familiar, and yet, well, all will be revealed, well, all will be revealed in good time, but today we're going to reveal a few things about our new and improved plans for WolfQuest in the coming year. But first, let's take a quick look back at WolfQuest history. Way back in 2006, when we began developing the first version of WolfQuest, we imagined a three-episode arc, fall, winter, and spring. We had to collapse that into two due to budget constraints, but that established the format of episodes were tied to seasons and, and gameplay in those seasons. So it was only natural, about five years ago, when we began working on what became the Anniversary Edition, that we started thinking about a new episode set around Towerfall, focused on the growing pups learning how to hunt. We also had some vague ideas about another episode after that, in the deep winter, where the pack moves into Pelican Valley and has to learn how to hunt bison. But as the game evolved over these years, we realized that the real potential for more gameplay went well beyond these next few months into the fall and winter. So our ideas for this next episode, Tower Fall, expanded substantially. Not just covering one or two seasons, but years. Time would just keep going. The seasons would just keep going. The pack would just keep having pups. The pups would turn into yearlings. The yearlings would disperse or maybe stay around for a while as subordinate wolves and help raising the pups of the year. And the player wolf would just keep on living their life until they died. And once we had that in mind, it felt increasingly weird for that to be DLC. I mean, really, it's just, it's the rest of the game. The rest of the wolf's life. In any other game without this particular unique history that Wolf Quest has over the past 15 years, that's just what it would be, the rest of the game. So the problem with doing that, of course, is that our whole financial model for Anniversary Edition was based on Towerfall being DLC. I mean, somebody bought Wolf Quest 2.7 in November of 2015, or any time in the years after that, already got Anniversary Edition for free, and that's a lot of people, so definitely a financial consideration there. So we've just been biding our time, since we've had our hands full with all the new stuff that we've now released in 2021, and now it's come time to make that decision. And so we decided, you know, it just feels wrong to make the rest of the game to be DLC. So here is the new plan. Tower Fall will be DLC, and that'll be a new map in the Tower Fall area, uh, which is just to the west and a bit south of Slough Creek and Amethyst Mountain. And here's a little sneak preview of the map. Looking down on the Yellowstone River, and you can see all the mist from Tower Fall coming off there on the right. And far off in the distance, at the far southern edge of the map, is Mount Washburn. And we hope lots of players will purchase this map. If you do buy it, you'll be able to move your pack to it anytime as long as your pups are big enough, so basically that means from September through March every year, you'll be able to move to a different map. You can also move back to Slough Creek at some point, or move to Amethyst Mountain if you want. And yes, that means you can finally see Amethyst Mountain in the summertime. So there's that. And then there's the rest of the game. Your pups growing, learning how to hunt, becoming yearlings, as you have the next litter of pups next spring, and so on, time passing, the season's rolling by, the new pups of the year every year, your grown pups either dispersing or staying with the pack for a while. All that will be part of the game, no additional purchase necessary. And that, once we're done with that, will be the complete Wolf Quest experience available to everybody who owns the game. We are very excited about this plan, especially with some of the twists and turns that can happen over the years with your pack. But as we've been working on it, it raised the question of what are we call this rest of the wolf's life. We've been so tied to that map equals gameplay model where Slough Creek is shorthand for raising pups. But that won't work anymore since you'll be able to stay at Slough Creek if you want and keep raising your pups there. Or you could move to Tower Fall earlier from Amethyst and have your pups there. Or you could stay in Amethyst and have your pups there. Or you could start a new game as a two-year-old dispersal in Tower Fall and live your whole life there. So many possibilities. So this rest of the game, we're calling the saga, the Wolf Quest saga. Life goes on, time goes by, pups are born, grow up, move out. We think it'll be kind of epic. So that's the plan. In addition to the Tower of Fall DLC map, we do plan to release more DLC in 2022, at least one more wolf customization pack. And uh, we certainly hope to get the Lost River map completed and out. And uh, this will be a self-contained map you won't be able to travel between Lost River and the Yellowstone maps, but it will be complete in that you will be able to play the saga at Lost River. 
And we might even do another Yellowstone map. We've got some ideas for that. We want to give players more ways to enjoy the game and more ways to support game development. You can also support the game by gifting the game to your friends, writing a review on Steam, or, or if you're feeling really flush, even donating directly to WolfQuest on Fundly. So that's the plan. As you might imagine, this is going to keep us busy for a while. And the game will stay in early access until we finish it. And that does mean we won't be able to turn our attention to other platforms until we finish it and uh, get out of early access. But we're very excited about this plan. Uh, we think this is going to really take Wolf Quest to the next level with more customizations, more maps, and giving players the chance to live the full life of a wild wolf. 